Okay, so this is a super simple math problem here. Now, don't let this problem intimidate you because we have uh, fractions here. So what we have is two-fifths, or we have a number, right, expressed as a fraction divided by itself. So we have a number divided by itself. What is the answer? Most of you out there probably already figured that out. If you know what the answer is, put that into the comment section. But uh, the purpose of this video is not to do this super simple uh, math problem, okay? The purpose of this video is to review the rule, the step, the procedure to divide fractions. We're gonna use this real simple problem uh, to review this uh, rule, this procedure, because a lot of people forget this. And of course, you have to make friends with fractions as they are everywhere in mathematics. So a better question for you is, yes, indeed, if you know the answer, and what it is, explain how you got that answer. And of course, we want to put our calculators away. Just want to use that calculator in between your ears, that uh, supercomputer. This is not artificial intelligence. I know everybody talks about AI these days, but guess what? You have actual intelligence. It's not artificial. So indeed, you are walking around with this supercomputer. So go ahead and think about this for a second. Put your answer again into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer, and then we're going to have a quick discussion on how to divide fractions. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is my passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so two fifths divided by two fifths, what is the answer? Well, the answer is one. Hopefully I made that pretty obvious on, uh, in terms of what to do. But uh, if you didn't get one, well, you know, don't despair. I'll explain this in a second. But if you got one, that is great. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to uh, your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in dividing fractions. But here's a situation, right? I don't know exactly if you are an expert in dividing fractions. Hopefully you are, because I gave you a nice little clue here, right? So what I said is we're taking one number and we're dividing it by itself. So anytime you take a number and you divide it by itself, of course the answer is going to be one. But I kind of gave you another challenge question here. I said, well, explain how you got this answer, right? So that is the little bit uh, kind of the more interesting part of this problem. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this right now. So uh, before we actually do this problem, two-fifths divided by two-fifths, let's just kind of uh, review what happens when we take a number and divide it by itself. So we'll just uh, use a simple number like four. So four divided by four is what? Well, of course it is one. So anytime you take anything and divide it by itself, the answer is one. And this works uh, as uh, algebra as well. Let's just take a couple of quick examples of this just to kind of uh, reinforce this principle. If I take X and I divide it by X, what is the answer? It is one. If I take um, some crazy expression, X squared Y minus a Z over x squared y minus z, what is the answer? Well, it is one. Anything divided by itself is one. Okay, so hopefully that's clear, but uh, the reason why I'm um, kind of using this real simple example is that we know that two fifths divided by two fifths, we know the answer has to be one. So how do we manipulate these fractions in order to um, you know, get our one here, right? Well, we need to review the procedure or the step uh, steps to divide fractions, and that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so here we have two-fifths divided by two-fifths. When we are dealing with fractions we and we have division, we never really divide fractions, okay? Well, of course, the result is uh, what we're going to be doing is actual division of fractions, but what the operation that we are um, going to be doing is actually multiplication. So we're going to take division problems and turn them into multiplication problems, okay? So we need to know how to multiply fractions. I'll show you how to do that in just one second. But let's talk about the procedure here. So anytime you are dividing fractions, what you want to do, you have to say, oh, look, I have two fractions. I'm trying to divide them. You take the fraction to the right of the division sign. Okay, in this case, it's two-fifths. 
and you're going to flip it upside down. Okay, in other words, the denominator, the bottom number in the fraction, goes to the top, and the top number, the numerator, goes to the bottom. Okay, so that's going to give us the fraction 5 over 2. Okay, and when we do that, we get to change division to multiplication. So now we just need to figure this problem out right here. 2 fifths times 5 halves. Now, of course, we know the answer is 1, but uh, we'll just uh, quickly uh, review how to multiply fractions here in just one second. But uh, before we do so, if you have not yet subscribed, I'd like to uh, really um, ask you to consider subscribing. It really does help me out. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification button as uh, I am posting material all the time. I love to teach math from basic to advanced. So if you are studying mathematics, okay, I could probably help you out along the way. But let's go to get back to the problem here. So we're down to two-fifths times five-halves, right? So this is uh, the result of going from division to multiplication. We flip this fraction upside down to the right. So now we have five-halves. Now, stylistically, okay, some uh, students, some people like to write their fractions with an angled fraction bar like so. And that's uh, perfectly fine. However, I'm going to encourage you to uh, get uh, used to writing your fractions with a horizontal fraction bar. It's a little bit more um, practicable, uh, excuse me, practical and useful, especially when you're dealing with things like uh, algebra or fractions in algebra. So if you like to write your fractions this way, it's not wrong and it's perfectly fine for like arithmetic, but you want to uh, try to shift your um, habit of writing fractions like this. Okay, so here's the same problem, two-fifths times five-halves. Now we need to figure out what to do here. So how do you multiply fractions? This is super easy stuff. All we need to do is simply multiply the respective numerators, which are the top numbers, and the respective denominators. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is going to be 2 times 5. We'll write that here. Over 5 times 2. We'll put that right there. So 2 times 5, of course, is 10. To 5 times 2 is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And of course, uh, that is the answer that we were expecting. All right, now this is a super easy problem, and most of you are like, "Yeah, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, give me something more challenging. Don't waste my time." Well, you know, I take a simple problem like this to make connections, you know, between you know looking at math problems in different ways, right? So if you're, you know, let's say you were faced with a uh, fraction problem and you just you forgot for a second how to divide fractions, but it's the same uh, number, you know, stand back for a second and just re um, kind of. Always remind yourself that fractions are numbers, okay? Of course, they're numbers, but don't be intimidated, overly intimidated by fractions. I know uh, most students don't like dealing with fractions because you got to do all that stuff like the LCD, the LCM, and uh, all that, reduce fractions. But don't, you know, get distressed about fractions. What you have to do is build up your skills, you know, just one step at a time. So we're going to start, you know, for me, if you're, you know, struggling with fractions, I want to start you off with nice and easy problems like this. Now, if you need more help with basic math, fractions, and the like, I'm going to uh, suggest two courses. You can find the links to those in uh, uh, the description of this video. One is my Math Foundation course. It's a great little mini course for basic math. And my second course is Pre-Algebra. I also have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel uh, about fractions. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.